Hey guys, Brian from the Trading Post. Excited to offer a new local trade in 1988 Mercedes Benz 560 SL Coupe convertible with both tops. The cool thing about this car, it's not only a V8 car, three, 338 cubic inches, but it's 55,000 original miles. And we do have some documentation to back that up. I know the gentleman that we got it from quite well. He knows the original owner, and I believe it's had three owners. It's been local its whole life. Uh, we're going to include a lot of pictures underneath. Had it up on the lift. It's all undercoated. It's all original. I don't see any rust anywhere on this car. If there are some, I did not see it. We're going to do a little walk around. I'm going to point out just a couple little nicks. Super nice car. Everything's original inside. Uh, the tires, they are just probably going to need some tires. They're about 10 years old. Still got decent tread, but just because of the age for safety, I would change them. Uh, the walk around is kind of a dark burgundy red. There's a tiny little ding right here on the fender. Other than that, it's nice. The side's nice. The chrome's good. The lights are good. Little tiny scratch right there on the hood. Somebody's laid something on it. Uh, you know, if it was my kid, I'd probably beat her, but I can't say that on, her, on, on YouTube. Look down this side. The only, let me just kind of turn around here. The only little real ding on this car, if you'll look, is right here. Looks like they've kind of scuffed it just a hair. If you look down, you can kind of see it from an angle. And they've come back and put a little crack in the tail light. Uh, the gentleman that traded in didn't even realize it was on there. But that is the extent of any damage that I'm seeing on this car. If you look at the top, I, I don't know for sure, but it looks to be original. It's in super tremendous shape. We've got several pictures of that, so you'll be able to take a close look at it. And like I say, we have uh, 20 or 30 pictures from underneath this car, so you can see all the way around it. You see it's not been messed with, and it is 100% original. Let's open her, open her up inside, take a quick peek. It does have all the books. It's got the original floor mats, got the original emergency kit behind the seat, which will take pictures of all that. As far as the instrumentation goes, everything does seem to work. The radio works, the power antenna works. The remote control mirror on the right side does not work correctly. And I could not figure out, or it does not work, the air conditioning does not blow cold. The car does drive extremely well. We will go for a ride here in a minute, but let me pop the hood. We'll show you under there. We'll start it up. And kind of show you that it runs super smooth, doesn't smoke. If I can find the, there we go. Looking at a factory V8 with everything original under that, as far as I can tell. Let me, let me fire it up real quick. <laughs> we'll take a quick peek at the top, and we'll jump in it and take it down the road. And keep in mind, this car has not been cleaned up. This is just the way it come out of the garage. It's set for several years. Probably hasn't had 500 miles put on it in the last three years. It does still smell a little musty like it's been setting in a garage. All right, let's go for a ride. All right, guys, we're going to go for a quick ride, kind of show you how it runs down the road. Did tell you wrong on the mileage. It is 52,400, so it's even a little less than I was thinking. Starts right up. It does every time. It does have... Last fall, I do know the gentleman had it fully serviced, had a new battery put in, oil change, belts, and etc. I don't know beyond that what all they've done. But she does run really smooth. I don't know what this little light is. I don't know if it's a check engine light. Sometimes it's on, sometimes it's not. The car runs fine. I don't, this is the first Mercedes I've ever owned, so I'm not sure uh, what that entails. But it does run fine and it doesn't affect anything. Normal acceleration, shift smooth, drives good down the road, drives straight. Accelerates nicely, downshifts as it should. Brakes in a straight line, very little pedal bump, which isn't bad for as long as this car is set. The 
As you can see, she runs out great, doesn't smoke, motor sounds strong, doesn't tick. We're going to include a lot of pictures. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. This car, if you want a nice car for the summer that you can go cruise in and not worry about repairs and working on it all summer, this would be your car. So, like I said, if you get any questions, feel free to check with us. Thank you.